Hello there buddies and welcome to this new thing that I'm planning to do. I'm hoping to make it a uh, quite a regular thing but it's not something that I can promise just yet I'm gonna keep going and see how I get along basically but what I want to do is make this uh, an every week thing every Wednesday do a little vlog catch up on what I've been doing for the week and see what you guys have been up to all that kind of jazz uh, if I can't do it every week I'm gonna try and make it every other week as I said, I'm just gonna see how it goes uh, fingers crossed but yeah um, as the title kind of suggests going to do something that incorporates something that's been happening uh, in the news recently. The whole React thing. Now, I'm not going to go in-depth. There are many videos out there that people are going in really in-depth and talking about how they think about the whole situation and how it's affecting everyone, etc, etc. Uh, but I'm, I'm not here to do that here right now. Uh, but what I am here to say is in light of all these uh, recent events, what we're going to be doing is starting our own thing, Let's React. Now the point of Let's React is that instead of me playing a game, I'm going to let you guys watch me watch other people play games. Now I think that's a fantastic idea. And I've got one here set up right now. Let's get started, shall we? So. Good morning, good afternoon and good evening everybody. My name's Dino. Welcome back to Dark Souls. Whoop de fucking do. Hold on a minute, let me just question my choices in life. Derp. Yep, I'm ready for failure. <laughs> Welcome from the dead. Oh shit! Jesus Christ, the shit! Crap! Ah. Oh, oh god. <laughs> and a little dive as well. 10 out of 10. Oh, what's that? The, the whole joke's irrelevant now because they've uh, decided to retract the whole trademark copyright thing. And no one cares anymore. It's not funny. Oh. Oh. So that aside, uh, there was a whole thing about the Phil Anselmo uh, racism salute and all this. I know this is old news as well. It's me. Uh, my These vlog things I want to make on a Wednesday and all this stuff has happened over the last few days and everyone's kind of got in there first. But still, um, yeah, I... I really like Pantera, uh, as many people do, and I never really cared for much of his other stuff that came out after that. I don't know how you guys may feel, but things like um, Down, I, I wasn't really into, but Pantera were awesome, um, and Dimebag was what kind of made that band. I mean, like they all they all played their uh, almost equal parts, but obviously Dime, they wouldn't have happened without Dimebag. The thing I can't get over with the whole Phil Anselmo thing is that he decided to do this joke. I, like many people, I don't believe it was a joke. It seems completely dodgy, but he did this joke at a at an event that is supposed to be there to um, honor the memory of someone who's supposed to be his friend. Yes, they, they admittedly they had had a feud for a long time prior to his death um, but someone passing helps you see things in a different light and uh, supposedly Phil came out as saying that he regretted that them two never got the chance to make up but yeah at this event that's supposed to be in honor of a friend and his passing and the music that they all love and everyone shares he decides to do this fucking joke of doing the sea kyle and shouting white power. Um, that is unacceptable and this is something that a lot of people have come out in the metal community. Rob Flynn has come out and said it. Scott Ian of Anthrax has recently uh, spoken out about it and he actually had a fantastic idea in my opinion. He mentioned, I don't know if it was in an interview or an article that he wrote, but he mentioned the whole um, situation and the apology and then went on to give an idea for Phil to prove to everyone that he didn't mean it or to help uh, fight his case asked him to or suggested for him to make a donation uh, to a chat I've completely forgotten his name I apologize um, but uh, to make a donation to a charity that helps fight against racism now I think that's a fantastic idea but even if it is a joke it sounds really far-fetched but even if it was a joke to do with drinking white wine 
backstage. It's in incredibly poor taste. Um, and there are certain things that you... It's just kind of a time and place for everything that you got to think... It's an inside joke, so yeah, it might be funny to your bandmates or whatever, but when it's something as touchy as uh, race and expressing racism, it's got to be done in context. I mean, the thing is, I'll, I'll, I know that me and my friends on these videos have uh, hinted at like uh, kind of racist jokes and things like that. One thing, kind of, <laughs> this is going to be like me fighting my case now. One thing is that it's kind of non-discriminative, uh, or whatever that word is, because it's not so much that uh, when we're doing it, we're picking on one particular race or one particular person. We'll be doing it as kind of a global thing. We'll joke about one thing, then we'll joke about the other, and most of all, we'll be joking about ourselves. Whether it be our personal selves, or our ethnicity, or background, or whatever else. Um, but there's also the thing that people who come and watch our videos, they know that that's kind of us. And they'll see it in context. They'll see that uh, whatever may have set up that joke, and they'll see it afterwards. Um, and <laughs> they'll also see it if it's in particularly poor taste, that usually will turn around and will be quite apologetic. Um, to some people that's no excuse and they even in that situation it shouldn't happen and I can kind of agree with that but at the same time not I kind of have the, the South Park mentality of um, South Park I love the way they do things because the, they'll uh, they'll make jokes about any one basically uh, like People were saying about uh, when they when they made jokes about Scientology and um, Isaac Hayes. I've completely forgotten his name now. Uh, the guy who played Chef. He left because he was a Scientologist and he took offence. And he was saying about oh they they pick on people all the time. They've been doing it for years. They also pick on like um, the Jewish religion. And I know at least one of them creators is Jewish. And that's the thing is that they are as soon as you go. No, we we can't we can't make a joke about that particular um, ethnic group or that particular religion or whatever. That's when you are causing offence to everyone else because these guys are exempt for some special reason. So you are then picking on them. Whereas if it's it's hard to explain. I know what I'm going on about. Um, <laughs> even if no one else does. God, this has turned into a long rant. I can't even remember where what I was getting to. Oh yeah, he was. Um, the people in the crowd, as it's proven, are outside of that context. They're not going to know. So all they're going to see is someone being a fucking racist. And that's what people saw. And now there's been uh, people in the community turning around and saying that, yeah, he's spouted off racist slurs and um, white extremist expressions for years and no one's ever come forward about it and now apparently they are whether or not that's true I don't know but still it's yeah it's not on it shouldn't happen in this day and age uh, <laughs> it's just fucking stupid I, I have very I have no tolerance basically for anyone who is racist or has any any amount of hate, there's no fucking reason for it. I'm, I'm going to get off it now because I'm, I'm starting to get a bit angry about it. Going on what I was saying about this, I want these vlogs to be about what I've been up to recently and things like that. Um, one thing I did in particular was last night I saw Code in Cambria, one of my favourite bands, play in Manchester, supported by Glassjaw and a band I never heard of called The Crooks. I'm actually wearing a shirt. don't know if you can see it. Yeah, you can. Yeah. <clears throat> Got myself a little shirty shirt. Possibly the best performance I've ever seen of Code and Cambria. I've seen them something like six or seven times. I can't remember. I saw them the first time I saw them was at, uh, when they were headlining a, a Kerrang tour. I think I saw them again do something else. <sighs> My memory is fried. I'm such an old man. 
Uh, I just went and saw the Never Ender shows that they did in London. All four of them, technically five, if you want to class it that way. Um, I also saw them perform with the Deftones. And then last night I saw them at Manchester. And yeah, it was possibly the best performance I've I've seen of theirs. It was a fantastic. My throat is hurting from screaming along to the songs, as I am one to do. My neck slightly, 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 <laughs> fuck it. But yeah, it was so good. Uh, Glassjaw were really good. The Crooks, I don't recommend. Personally, I I didn't like them. <laughs> but nah, whatever. Also, because I pre-ordered the Coheed. Coheed's um, latest album as the deluxe, I think it was a limited box set thing. I got a Amory Platinum card thing. Amory Platinum card. <coughs> and because of that, I got to go in half an hour early and join the VIPs. I felt very, very uh, um, confused, to be honest, because we got let in early and we, we got put into a room downstairs that was just really kind of dank and dark, the bar wasn't open and we got made to wait there for 45 minutes so then they took us up to the room like 10 minutes before everyone else was going to be let in <laughs> we got treated to a single song performance by Coheed Coheed, they actually were um, Travis Stevens side project the fire juice but it was really cool it was just very strange that we, we were told we got to be let in early for this early performance thing and then we ended up just being like five or ten minutes before everyone else came in but it was cool it was nice not to be stood out in the cold um, I'm actually going to be going to see Bowling for Soup this Saturday I think it's this Saturday coming up I'm seeing them later this week they're uh, my my soon to be wife's uh, favourite band and I really like them I've seen them a few times as well and they're really good they always put on a good show uh, trying to think of what else I've done this past week not much I do <laughs> I've, I'm getting on with work uh, as some of you may already know I, I work as a sound designer for Running With Scissors the guys behind the Postal Games so yeah, I've been hard at work with those guys, doing my videos. Um, yeah, I think that about covers it for me. Either way, I'll, uh, if I can think of anything else, I'll try and jot it down and remember it for next week. Um, uh, but I do, I hope to make this a weekly thing. I really hope I can. Um, it's, at the moment, things are really busy with work wise so it may be that I'll cut it down to every other week but I'm gonna try we'll see how it pans out like I said I'm not gonna make any promises at the moment but if it works out that I can do them every week then that's how it will go forward so yeah thanks for watching let me know if you like this kind of thing and uh, feel free to jump into the comments and tell me what you guys have been up to over the past week or recently or what you got coming up uh, and we'll just start chatting or whatnot other than that, I shall leave it there, and I shall see you guys again soon. Bye, see, bye.